This is code.org, and let's see what we have going on here. Oh no, giraffe, monkey, ah! <laughs> Here's a similar program, but it doesn't work yet. Similar to what? Similar to the one you just looked at and predicted with your neighbor, partner, friend, what was going on? Well, you talked about it. All right, so it doesn't have, yikes. Uh, use your plan to program the giraffe to push the monkey off the screen. All right. So what's going on right now is this giraffe is just going to head over because we have a y, uh, an x velocity. So it's moving to the right, okay, because this is 0x, this is 400-ish x, and when you add to x, you go zoop. Now, we need it to smack into the monkey and push it off the screen. So how can we do that? Well, we want to update the sprite. Now, remember, we took a look at those begin those blocks starting on lesson one, the front page of it. And so this is what we want to keep in mind. But for now, let's do it the old way, right? They, we are going to have bounce and collide and all of this stuff. But how would we do this before? Well, first, we need to know what if we need to know if what's happening. Well, when the giraffe hits the monkey, we want the monkey to move. So if what? Hmm. Well, let's find our if, which is a control statement, right? A conditional statement is an if statement. It's under control. So if what occurs? Let's go over to sprites here. Hmm, if velocity, no. Ooh, wait a minute. If sprite is touching target, right? We're asking the computer a true or false question. If what? Well, we have monkey, so I'm going to say, actually, since the giraffe is the one moving, we'll use giraffe. It doesn't matter what you say is touching what, because it would work either way, but... If the giraffe is touching the monkey, right, I change this to giraffe, I change this to monkey, what do we want to occur? Well, we want it to push the monkey. So for it to be able to do that, what makes the giraffe move? This, right, giraffe's velocity x is positive, so it goes zoop, and we can set it way up here because we don't actually change it, we're not adding to it. But we're going to change this for the monkey. The monkey's still, unless, if the giraffe hits it. If the giraffe hits the monkey, we need the monkey to move. So we're going to set the monkey's velocity down here, monkey.velocity x, and we can have it move one as well. We could try doing two. It's kind of up to us. And so keep in mind, draw loop runs 30 times a second. And the only time this will run this code is if this is true. Boom. And we'll start moving. If this is false while we're running, right, um, the draft is not touching the monkey. This is false. So the conditional statement, the stuff inside of our if statement, this blue mouth thing, would not run. And that's why the monkey starts off not moving at all, because this is false. No giraffe. False. Giraffe is not touching the monkey. It goes beneath this and keeps running. Finally, it becomes true. It runs the code inside, goes beneath it, and keeps going. Now our monkey has a speed, and ta-da! Cool. Onward.